views changed since he expressed his view that the troops should leave Iraq. Best wishes, George. You have previously said you were excited by Barack Obama. Have your views changed since he expressed his view that the troops should leave Iraq but not come home but be split between Afghanistan and an invasion of Pakistan? Well, Mike, that's a misrepresentation of what Obama said, but it's also a misrepresentation uh, uh, by omission of what I said. I made it clear that Barack Obama's views and mine are very far from identical. I stand for many things he does not. He stands for many things that I do not. I didn't say he was even the best candidate in the race. Dennis Kucinich is the best candidate in the race. I said that Barack Obama is the best candidate in the race who can win. That's the point. Barack Obama's the only candidate, vaguely progressive, who can win the Democratic nomination and who can win the American presidency. Stav says, I'd have to agree with one of your callers earlier this evening that you have indeed tempered your enthusiasm for Barack Obama. I seem to recall it wasn't that long ago on your show that you described him along the lines of, quotes, the most exciting thing to happen to American politics since Robert Kennedy. Unquote. Please don't hesitate to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure this is what you said. It did surprise me at the time because it sounded like you had really bought in to the huge Barack PR machine. All the best, staff. Well, I did exactly say that. I said that Barack Obama was, quote, the most exciting thing to happen to American politics since Robert Kennedy. Was I wrong? Has there been a more exciting thing to happen to American politics since Robert Kennedy? Has there, staff? Has there been a more important, more exciting development since Robert Kennedy? If so, tell me what that was, because I missed it, and I'm a keen observer of American politics. What I said that night is exactly what I said this night. There's no tempering of an enthusiasm which was not unqualified in the first place. I said that of the candidates who could win, Barack Obama was far and away the best and much better than the only serious rival, somebody called Senator Hillary Clinton. Do you want her to win, Stav? Would you prefer that Senator Hillary Clinton won rather than Barack Obama? You people have got to live in the real world. That's the choice. It's between Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Nobody else is in the race that can possibly win. You see, some people like to live on a cloud. They imagine that some Malcolm X figure can possibly win the nomination and then go on to win the presidency. Well, they tried George McGovern and it didn't work. They've tried, what's his name, the uh, Ralph Nader, and it didn't work. So you've got to live in the real world. Who do you want to be the president? From the choices who can win. And Barack Obama wins that contest hands down, I'm afraid. George, you are so wrong on Obama. Apart from Iraq, <laughs> apart from Iraq, give me a policy position of Senator Obama's. Don't get me wrong, he impressed me at the Democratic Party conference several years ago, but you stated that no one has ignited feelings in the U.S. since Kennedy. Both Reagan and Clinton proved you wrong. Keep up the good work, though, at least you sparked debate. Karen from Largs. Well, Karen, for somebody to write the phrase, apart from Iraq, give me a policy position of Senator Obama's. Senator Obama opposed the war in Iraq from the beginning. And Senator Obama has promised that if elected president, he will withdraw every last United States soldier from occupied Iraq. Is that not good enough for you? It's certainly good enough for me. Who do you prefer, Karen, that can win? If you get Hillary Clinton, believe me, the soldiers will still be in Iraq at the end of our second term assuming that she gets one, and we'll have Bill Clinton back in the White House, and God knows what that'll do. You said Barack Obama's the only clear choice in the Democratic presidential race. You might want to explain why you think this, and also why anyone who supports Clinton needs to live in the real world. Explanations, please, not blanket statements. How can we expect credibility with no explanation for your opinions, says Glenn in Los Angeles. Well, Glenn, try this for size. Hillary Clinton voted for the war in Iraq. Hillary Clinton will keep the soldiers in Iraq. Hillary Clinton's threatening to invade and uh, bomb Iran. Hillary Clinton stood outside the United Nations demonstrating 
in favor of the Israeli bombardment of the south of Lebanon just last summer, holding a placard saying that Israel was fighting for American values. Try that, Glenn, in Los Angeles, as a good enough reason not to vote for Hillary Clinton. That's my point of view. I want to hear yours.